Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use one of these twist straighteners to curl your hair. And I just realized that I'm filming at a different time in the day than normal and I'm picking up some sun. So um, I, that's what those dots are in my background and on me. Some weird lighting stuff happening today. But I'm still going to curl my hair because look at this. So this is the first time that I'm actually using this product. So I'm gonna use this live. It gets really hot. So I have set this to the second highest setting. So there are all these heat settings right here. And I have set this to the second highest as you can see. But I think I'm gonna actually go to the lowest because that's pretty hot. And even on my normal straightener, I use like the hottest, which is 220, but I feel like Oof, I don't know. I haven't used this yet, so I don't really want to burn my hair I'm too crazy. But look how crazy my hair is. So I'm in Austin, Texas, and anytime I do my hair straight, this is what happens after like a couple hours. This is just the humidity. Yes, and I have naturally curly hair, so I've already straightened my hair. I've already um, blown it out, and I used a straightener a few days ago, so this is hair that was dried a couple days ago. I always use a heat protector. I do have a video on how I do the entire blowout and all of the products that I use and I'll link that for you now. But um, I just wanted to demonstrate how to use this little new tool that I have and see if it works. A few other items that I'm going to be using in today's video is the detangling brush by Mint Pear. And then I have a few of these little hair clips. I know I never have enough pink in my videos, but wait, there's more. There's always more pink. Also, if you like this makeup look, I just filmed a tutorial for this and I will also link that for you at the end of this video. So to start, what I would like to do is take my hair and divide it into half. So I'm going to put the top half up first. Also, this is the first time that I'm wearing this sweater, and if you guys want me to put a link for this sweater, just let me know in the comments below, and I will definitely, definitely let you know where I got it. I'm also going to use the Chi Magnified Volume Hairspray that I like to find at TJ Maxx because it's half the price. Instead of $30, it's $14 for this massive Volume is hairspray. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little piece and we're gonna test this out Because I have no idea how this works. So I'm just clamping down and I'm twisting it and it does glide a lot easier than like a straightener But let's see. Maybe I need to turn up the heat Turn up the heat Okay, let's see. So I just twisted it and I'm gonna drag it really slowly Let's see if that does anything oh I'm getting a little bit of a curl I do think I need to turn it up a little bit so I'm going up to the second level which is 180 degrees Celsius and look at that I did curl it a little bit cool okay let's try this baby again It glides really smoothly. Just so you know, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this on my own because I was super curious. Hmm, look at that, guys. That's cute. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's keep going. So I'm taking a smaller piece. I'm just going up to the top and then I just turn it and pull it kind of forward. It does slip out pretty easily, so I have to squeeze it pretty tightly. Look at that. And my hair's not too hot, so I could even turn up the heat, the temperature. But um, that's pretty cute. Definitely cuter than what we were working with about three minutes ago, that's for sure. I'm actually, I think I'm going to turn up the heat again now it's at 200 so it's at the 
almost the highest, the third from the bottom. And a lot of heat uh, options for different hair textures, which is pretty cool. I know people have different preferences. Um, again, I have naturally curly hair, so it's pretty thick. I have a lot of hair. I always have my hairdresser actually thin out my hair when I go get a haircut. She thinks I'm crazy, but she just doesn't understand that it's a lot of work to go through that much hair all the time. The same thing, I'm just gonna take it and turn it away. Oh, that one is oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking like there has to be a way to clamp it down. And that's what this <laughs> these little things are for. <laughs> so when you're curling it, you can hold the end and they don't get hot. Like there's no heat right here, but this gets hot. So you don't want to hold there. But you do can you see it smoking? It's pretty hot. This is no joke. Kids don't try this at home. I've kind of allowed my natural hair color to grow in over the last few months and it's getting pretty dark. You can see my ends are a little bit lighter. Um, I, I, I was thinking about going a little bit lighter again. I wonder if I should leave my hair natural. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment below and let me know if you think I should lighten my hair again or if I should keep it this natural ash brown. Those curls are just, I mean, literally for the first time using this, I'm actually really impressed because I went in not even knowing like what direction to hold this or how to do this or like this little thing up here. And now that I think about it, I do have one of those little heat gloves somewhere and I could totally use one of those little heat gloves to protect my hand. But sometimes those scare me because I feel like you don't really know how hot the straightener is and if you you know you could burn your hair but if you know with your hand like you can feel the heat coming off you know how much heat is coming you can protect your hair that way okay so obviously someone with a little bit longer hair would have an easier time getting in those sections but so there is the bottom section, look how cute that is! I mean, don't ignore this little frizzy stuff going on because that's just my hair. It feels really soft. It's so cute! Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. That's so easy. What? Okay, and can you see how I'm twisting it as I do that? I'm twisting that to let it dry in a ringlet and then it will become a nice beautiful luscious wave it might seem easier as you're watching but like when you're doing it in a mirror and you're looking backwards it takes a minute to get familiar with which angle you want to do that with it does keep the heat pretty well so it's pretty cool just double flip that one. I think that I need to do smaller sections. It's still picking up a curl, a wave, but I think it will probably stay longer throughout the day if I make these smaller. So let's make these front ones a little smaller. And I'm gonna fix my part before I do any fancy work up here. I'm getting really close to my face, which makes me nervous with a new tool. I'm just gonna go away from my face and pull it down. Wow. 
wow, that really smoothed out anything I had going on. That is great. I'm going to spray it now. Of course, once it dries a little bit, I'll finger through it and make it a little messy so it's not so perfect. But right now, I'm just going to let that dry like this. The problem with so much hair is you always try to cheat and like do bigger pieces, but it never works. So just <laughs> try to keep that in mind. The smaller the pieces, the longer your hair is going to last. I don't feel like it's burning my hair at all. It's very smooth and easy on my hair. It's not pulling or tugging. It doesn't have any weird angles or corners that are catching. It's very um, gentle. As long as I'm being gentle, it's a very gentle tool. The way that they've designed this to glide, it does not catch. When I'm curling my hair with my straightener, which a lot of you might be asking, like, why wouldn't you just use a straightener. The problem that I have found personally, and I use my straightener a lot, is that I get like a snag when I'm curling it. It kind of like kinks or my hair gets caught and it won't smooth. It won't do like that nice ringlet. It gets like a weird kink in it. So um, that could definitely be a huge benefit of having this thing if you are running into that same problem. As you can see, I'm not having any problem at all with gliding through while I'm trying to curl. I love about these curls is that they are not super like bouncy it's like a really nice soft I mean I didn't put hardly I hardly put any hairspray in there and it's very soft now that I've used it I realized they really did improve a process to straighten your hair with the straightener it's so easy Okay guys, look at this. I'm already to my last piece. I feel like as I get to my last piece, I'm getting a little bit more experienced with like the angles and how to use it. Did you guys see how I did that? So you just take it and like, if you want the volume, go away from your forehead so that it falls forward a little bit and it gives you just a little bit of volume okay so there you have it this is basically the very first time that I have used this tool and I would say that this is a great experience I would give this definitely a 10 out of a 10. You know, also what I love about this is it's pretty light. So it, it's not heavy. I'm not feeling like curling irons can be pretty heavy. And I feel like this, you can easily get through your whole head of hair and you don't feel exhausted after holding up the curling iron forever. And I feel like I went through my hair pretty fast too. This is so perfect. This is exactly what I would look for in a wand like this because I love that imperfect wave, that nice Victoria's Secret bouncy wave. And it was so easy to do with this one tool. That's so cool. And mind you, we're talking about hair that is a couple days old, so it's not like perfect, you know? But I think for um, the first run with this tool, 
I'm really impressed. I think it's really pretty. Let me know what you guys think. Have, have you tried one of these? Would you try one of these? Let me know in the comments below. I can also send the link for um, where I got this one. Again, this is not a sponsored video, so I'm just reviewing this just to let you know if this product works or not. And um, I'm excited that you guys watched this video with me. So thank you so much. Please give this video a like and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can see all my videos when they come out. And thank you so much for your support. Have a beautiful day.